Anda bawa nombor suku tu punya, mana pun dek. Kampanye mana yang baru itu nombor minyak koi ada mende suku tu wakina pun. Sekitar wakina pun dek. Nombor koi orang, eh wah mende juga, wah orang magi unu baru juga. Nombor lain tu nombor mana pun. Baru itu suku lah pun, dua nombor berubah jauh. Nombor kau nak angguk hari jauh. Oh apa dia orang magi unu lepuru kau nari je. When the mine was proposed to be developed in Pogra, one of the things we have negotiated was to establish the Children's Trust Fund. And that helped the SML landowners to send their kids to school and set up international school in Pogra and a community school in the SML. Now we have a problem where the company has been mismanaging the funds involving some of the trustees. And the company who pays our royalties decided to hold back the royalty payment and that has disrupted the children's trust. These kids, these kids victimize because they don't have a proper school, they don't have a proper hospital. They don't have a proper government services. Therefore, these kids have been victimized for the rest of their life. The quality of the schools in Pogra was very good from the start. And we had an international school uh, from elementary school up to year 12. Some of them went straight to the university in Australia and in PNG universities. But now, when the company took control of the funds, the school from year 12 came down now to primary school, to year 6. This is the dump, 10 to uh, 15,000 tons per day dumped by the company. So now it covers up the school. This place where Avlaka community school used to be. And then the part of the uh, piece of land where the grass is growing, it used to be the place where the teachers' houses and uh, some classroom used to be. First, it was destroyed by the uh, waste dump, but replacement school should have built immediately, but they waited for some 10 years. And then there was a generation gap. That generation didn't go to school. And then they beat it again. And then three or four years later, it collapsed again. So at the moment, there's no school. I am a Medu Taro. 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 I am I'm because of you, Barry. I'm also come. I'm the kill him again. Barry is a kill him again. Me, Baba, blow resource. I'm the blow bar. Me, lay in a block of right. Walk boom on them. I'm in a block in service loom, benefit loom, a pelling. Okay, looking more be near tomorrow. In a block, I'll be me, look at me. Damn, Barma Maria. Me, don't go away. From the beginning, it was seen as a good move by the SML landowners to educate their kids. But the company has got some hidden uh, motives. They don't want the kids from the SML to be educated. 
even though it was set up for good purpose, it's not good for them because so many educated guys from the SML becomes dangerous to them. Those educated guys might come back and question what the company is doing. And then they get involved in creating conflict among the landowners by companies supporting another faction. The old intention for the company is to destroy the trust fund and destroy the education system against the will of the people who, as a return for giving up their land, they want to have more educated people. But that has been slowly and very cleverly being destroyed by the company. That's our assumption. Based on the facts and the evidence of their action, they are sponsoring other kids from Enga and other parts of Papua New Guinea, but not one person from the SML. Two, they withholding some 20 or 30 million royalties payment. They're supposed to release it to the children trust fund. They're holding it back for no reason. So kids being affected. These are the kids, some of them spending gold and others speaking against the company and all that. Those are school leavers. And some of them even get involved in organizing their people to protest against Barik, Barik out, Barik out. Now look, you remember, you see me, old mama, very big in the house, and mouse to her, and you missed up to me. Also, through my girls, kind of something, police running in me, and you mean, oh, Papa Grano, you mean, old pig dog, or running more, or running many more, or running something, or you mean, old Pauliet stuff. But you mean, no, Polo school, no, what you want, or good, or something, school, or one, or something, or you mean, but since I went, or you mean, but making some, or something, no, what, and you mean, sleep, or that, you miss it. We're supposed to live like royal family, you see. But these people are not living like royal family. They own the mine. According to customary land rights, they own the land. A man is thinking about profit, and then not thinking about people. People's life, you see. So look at this. these kids. They're not attending school. They're supposed to be in school, you see. Like this one, this few young fellows. Education is damn bankrupt. It's not here in Pogera, but it's throughout all country. Or even the world. Education is deep bankrupt. Big one of the country. But this guy doesn't have education because of Barik failed to construct the school.